investigators told the families of two women, these two women right here, that two schools Skulls were discovered in a Cass County field. And right now, both families waiting to find out if those remains do in fact belong to their daughters. Kara Kapetsky disappeared nearly 10 years ago. Jessica Runyon's more than six months ago. And right now, police are combing an area just south of the city near Peculiar after a mushroom hunter found the remains. This is in a field you can see from this map. It's near Y and Double Y. We have team coverage on this developing story. We want to begin now with 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez, who was with Cara Kopetsky's family when they got that call. Andres, obviously a very emotional day for them. Absolutely, Rian, and simply heartbreaking to be in that room. Tonight, the mothers of both those young women are looking for closure. Minutes before noon, we were talking to the mothers of Cara Kopetsky and Jessica Runyons about the human remains discovered by our mushroom hunter when Belton police called. Oh, that's Brad. Police told Jim Beckford, Cara's stepdad, they had discovered another human skull this morning, an older one compared to the one discovered Monday afternoon. I, I told you last night that that was a hot area, and I was always on the wrong side of the street. Police sounded confident. Yeah, no, it's it's a good bad thing. And the news overwhelmed both families. It's going away. It's going to be okay. Rhonda Beckford and Jamie Runyon's left together and drove to Belton Police. Here they met with detectives who told them they still have to wait for forensic testing to ID the remains. It's just hard. Both mothers are still clinging to hope. After 10 years, my emotions have become kind of tempered, but you know, it definitely, it's, it makes you nervous and it gets, it changes and it doesn't really get easier. And she went on to tell me that they simply want a resolution in these cases, whether it's good or bad. They also just want their daughters to come home. Reporting live in Belton tonight, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.